Golf is an enigmatic sport that has been a favorite of many celebrities over the years. From multi-talented Hollywood stars to legendary athletes, many celebrities have been spotted on the greens showing off their near-perfect swings and striking little white balls into holes. Though these superstars never had the intention of going pro, they definitely haven't given up on their passion for hitting the links. And the best part is, they get to test their skills at pro-am tournaments and golf clubs around the world. Although these celebrity golfers look the part, just how well can they putt for dough? Stick around to find out. Coming up at number 10 is Tom Brady. Tom Brady is an American football quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and is as competitive as they come. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that the seven-time Super Bowl champion sometimes allows his competitive flame to get the best of him at his second favorite place after the gridiron. Brady's dad, Tom Sr., recalled a memory of his son at the golf course. I sank a long putt on the 13th hole and he started whining because he couldn't hit his shot, Brady Sr. continued. I rolled a putt up to within two inches of the cup on the next hole. He got up and hit the ball 60 feet away, and when I asked why he didn't just tap it into the hole, he replied, I wanted to hit it hard. We came dead last in the tournament. These days, Tom wouldn't be caught dead doing anything that would likely hurt his chances of winning a tournament, but at least his drive to hit the ball hard never left him. With a handicap of 8.1, Tom has competed in tournaments including the Pebble Beach Pro-Am in 2004, 2010, and 2014. The 12-time Pro Bowler is also a member of many prestigious golf clubs, including the Country Club in Brookline and Riviera near Los Angeles. At number 9, Justin Timberlake. A songwriter, singer, record producer, and actor, Justin Timberlake is one of the best putters among musicians. The 10 Grammy Awards winner has been a regular at Pebble Beach Pro-Am. For those who don't know, the Pebble Beach Pro-Am is an amateur tournament held every February where pro golfers team up with celebrities to compete for an $8.7 million prize. As of two years ago, Timberlake has a golf handicap of 4.8. He even bought a golf course in Memphis that he learned to play on and hosted many golf events there before selling it. Coming up at number 8 is Stephen Curry. Wardell Stephen Curry is a three-time NBA champion who decided to make a move to help increase diversity in golf. In 2019, he launched the Underrated Tour as a b-ball showcase event for athletes who might not have been scouted by college coaches and later added golf to the event. Expressing how much he loves the game, Steph said, Everyone knows that I love golf and I'm super excited to extend this love to other young players from across the country. He continued, our tour provides a platform of access, opportunity, and equity to boys and girls that want to compete and play with the current next AJGA players. The two-time MVP also joined NBC Golf's Ryder Cup coverage as part of its commentators. In 2017 and 2018, Curry competed in the Ellie Mae Classic, a golf tournament on the Corn Ferry Tour, and has a handicap of 2.2. Although he missed the cut both years, Curry's still impressed as an amateur. At number seven is Samuel L. Jackson. Did you know that Samuel L. Jackson, one of the highest grossing actors with three decades of impeccable work on his resume, is an avid golfer? But how did his love for the sport begin? Jackson developed a passion for golf after some of his friends deceived him into going to a driving range, and ever since then, he has never looked back. Samuel's passion for the game is such that he ensures his acting contracts come with a clause that allows him to play golf even when he has to be on set. Known for his roles in Pulp Fiction and Patriot games, Jackson, who has a handicap of 8.6, once said if he wasn't golfing, he'd be doing destructive things. The actor once shot a 78 with Tiger Woods at St. Andrews and said Woods has a temper and later admitted that Arnold Palmer has the worst temper that he has ever seen on the course. Coming up at number six is Kelly Rohrbach. Kelly Rohrbach is not just a pretty face. She swaps Hollywood for playing golf whenever she gets the chance. You don't usually expect to find a movie star playing competitive golf on a chilly day, but Kelly Rohrbach is no stranger to St. Andrews Golf Course in Scotland. Having played C.J. Parker in the Baywatch movie, Rohrbach is more used to the baking golden sands of Florida than the refreshing rain and winds often found on the Scottish East Coast. The 32-year-old Hollywood star competed in the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship alongside Lee Westwood, Luke Donald, and Rory McIlroy. At number five is Rafael Nadell. 
currently ranked world number two by the ATP, Rafael is a pro tennis player who hasn't hidden his love for golf. During his time away from tennis, the King of Clay played various amateur golf tournaments. At the 2020 Balearic Golf Championship for professionals, Rafael finished sixth, 10 shots behind Sebastian Garcia, who took home the title after finishing one under par. Rafael has a 1.5 handicap and has continued to play despite his leg injury, which forced him to end his 2021 season. Coming up at number four is Tom Holland. Who would imagine that the amazing Spider-Man would develop a thing for golf? Holland, whose acting career began at the age of nine, had the honor of opening the BMW PGA Championship Tournament Week in 2021. Tom went around the course with Harry, his twin brother, and Europe's Ryder Cup captain, Padraig Harrington. Tom placed a bet with Padraig that if he could hit the green from 240 yards away, that he would add him to the Ryder Cup team. Well, Tom nearly hit the green, and Padraig admitted that Tom had him worried with that impressive shot. Holland has a 5.4 handicap. At number three is Kevin Costner. Here's a fun fact. Kevin Costner played Rory McAvoy in the 1996 movie Tin Cup, and ever since then, he couldn't do without the game. Kevin Costner is known for his fantastic golf swing and has a handicap of 11. Prior to acting in the movie, the 67-year-old never had an interest in the sport, so it made sense when he gave credit to the movie for sparking his interest in golf. Kevin recalled that his life wasn't the same after filming Tin Cup. He missed the void of not having a club in his hand. Since then, you can catch him regularly on the golf course. Coming up at number two is Tony Romo. Antonio Romero Romo is a former American football quarterback who played with the Dallas Cowboys and is now a sportscaster. The former Cowboys QB has played his share of amateur tournaments. At the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am, Romo was paired with Tiger Woods, and as he said, it went great. He also won the third American Century Celebrity Championship title in a playoff. Romo had four birdies and a bogey. You work so hard to get in position only to be in contention at the end. And once you're there, it's really fun. That's what makes the game enjoyable. The difficult part is getting there, said Romo. His win in the Celebrity Golf Tournament made it his third after a victory at the 2018 and 2019 editions. The overall purse was $600,000 with $125 going to the winner. But the 42-year-old donated his prize money to South Lake Tahoe Charities. Coming up at number one is Michael Jordan. Jordan is arguably one of the greatest basketball players ever, but he's also no slouch on the golf course. When asked to compare what it entails to be a great basketball player versus a great golfer, Jordan said each has a similar level of difficulty. MJ started golfing in college, and according to The Green Magazine, he is a member of almost 12 private golf clubs and owns over 40 golf sets. So you see why it would be really difficult to compare both sports. Aside from the 3,500 square foot putting green which MJ installed in his backyard, he also has a magnificent uber exclusive private golf club that has attracted the likes of former President Barack Obama and pro golfer Phil Mickelson. As if to say golf, just like basketball, is in his genes, Grove 23 is modeled in the double helical shape of DNA. To create Jordan's 18-hole course, the designers took inspiration from one of America's oldest and most private golf clubs, Shinnecock Hills in New York, founded in 1891. Even Ricky Fowler dubbed Grove 23 as a slaughterhouse because the course was designed to maximize Jordan's style of play against any contender, even pro golfers. So it's going to be pretty difficult to defeat him on the 15,000 square foot course. So who's your favorite celebrity golfer? Leave a comment below. We'll see you in the next one.